in today's video, we are going to continue the series of discussion on integration problems. And this time, we are going to talk about the integral of tangent x. So how can we find the antiderivative of tangent x dx? So we all know that tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x. So let us write our given as the antiderivative of sine x over cosine x dx. And let us use u substitution. So let us set cosine as u and du that is the derivative of cosine which is negative sine x dx. And to solve for dx, let us divide both sides by negative sine x. Let us cancel this one. So dx will be negative du over sine x. So let us have the antiderivative of sine x over cosine x, that is u, and dx, that is negative du over sine x. So we can cancel sine x and let us move negative sine in front. So this will be negative antiderivative of 1 over u du. And the antiderivative of 1 over u, that is ln absolute value of u plus c. And since we have a negative sign, let us use one of the properties of logarithm, that is log a raised to n is equal to n log a. So we can move the exponent in front or move n as the exponent. So this will be ln absolute value of u raised to negative 1 plus c. And to simplify, let us have ln absolute value of 1 over u plus c. And this time, let us substitute the value of u that is cosine. So we are going to have ln absolute value of 1 over cosine x plus c. And to write our final answer, this will be ln and the value of 1 over cosine x that is second x plus c. And this will be our answer. For the sake of practice, let us find the antiderivative of cotangent x dx. Since cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sine x, let us write our given as the antiderivative of cosine x over sine x dx. And let us use u substitution. Let us have u as the denominator, which is sine x. And then du, that is the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x dx. So let us divide both sides by cosine x. Let us cancel this one. So dx will be du over cosine x. So let us have the antiderivative of cosine x divided by sine x, which is u, and dx, that is du over cosine x. So we can cancel cosine x, and this will be the antiderivative of 1 over u times du. And the antiderivative of 1 over u, that is ln absolute value of u plus c. And this time, we can substitute the value of u, which is sine x. So this will be ln absolute value of sine x plus c. Since we don't have negative sign in our answer, so this will be our final answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.